In today's Clash Royale video, I'm gonna show you guys the best Mega Knight deck in Clash Royale right now. Mega Knight Prince is one of the most deadly combinations in Clash Royale. This deck is absolutely perfect, especially for mid ladder. Starting off the mission here with his dad, and let's see if we can clap him. We're just gonna give him a good luck, and I might just go ghost directly in the back. And just like controlling the game with a ghost is always great. So this guy might use Evo Recruit. Evo Recruit just absolutely annoying, but we can win this by like really big. Push. I just like Arrow Sap and this kind of combination. We don't have like um, to go mine there. We don't have Wall Break, and said we got like Arrow Sap, which I feel like is really really good right now. I'm just gonna go Zap there. Perfect Zap timing, Zap placement, and I'm just gonna go now for my Ghost here just to protect these bats or just like getting some extra value on top of that. So he's gonna use his um, Skull and Direction to let them go to Tower and just go bats. Um, behind them, and then I'm most likely also gonna go for a Miner. So I'm just gonna go for my bats there. And now I'm just gonna go Miner there, support these bats. I think it's the smartest call. Also, since it's Mother which is out of hand, he's gonna go for this. But this might be... Does he have Esper? Bro! He doesn't have anything! This is looking so, so good. We won this game already, I feel like. Okay, there might be a chance for him to kind of come back with like a big evil recruits push. But if you guys hate evil recruits, if you guys hate the stealth decks, this deck does really well against it as long as you're playing the right defensive. So he's just gonna go. He doesn't have even have evil recruits, dude. So now kind of showing you how to defend this. I'm just gonna go for my prince in the back first. On one side, and I kind of want to go ghost. Kind of want to wait. Okay, he goes in for this immediately. Normally, you kind of want to go ghost first. Maybe clean it up with bats. And then the, when you get like a bigger push, or when he gets a bigger push, you want to go in for the Mega You don't really want to Mega Knight early because they're just going to go in for um, their hoggies. So play ghost in one lane. Play prince in one lane. Maybe get firecracker uh, quickly in the middle to kind of respond to everything. And then go for the Mega Knight when he goes in piggies. Or unless you get like a really good healthy prince, you can also go in for the... Um, the magnet in front of that just to create a big counter push but i feel like in this type of situation when you're already up on damage if you're like up on tower you don't really need to be aggressive so just play as defensive as you can and control the game and there's no need for me to overwhelm with magnet as long as i like up on tower damage and tower situation i'm just gonna go enough for my prince in the back there prince is coming down let's go awesome prince and yeah this is kind of what i'm talking about right so i don't really want to go for my magnet here i'm gonna go now for my magnet when he plays his piggies and I'm also gonna go ghost in case he goes in for a mother witch. Perfect Clash Royale place. And this is why we're Clash Royale pro place. I'm just gonna go for my miner there. I think I'm just gonna go zap like this because this zap means the tower at focuses the miner now. And the prince might would or I would have connected if he doesn't respond with a skeleton ranks. And yeah, Mega Knight, I can tell you guys, especially in mid ladder, just one of the best combinations because Mega Knight Prince actually also for the best place in the world, like Mohammed like movie me. We are really struggling a lot defending this type of push because you got the splash damage of the Mega Knight, combination with the single target damage of the prince. And when you're like misplacing a, a troop or mistiming a troop, you're just absolutely dead in this type of situation. So if you want to push higher and want to like climb up the leaderboard, climb up the leagues, use this Mega Knight deck, guys. Next up here, where is this a Chinese? I think we're just going to give him a good luck and let's see what he's going to do. I'm just longing to go and for my Ghost in the back first play. He goes for Knight. This is incredible, great for us because this means it's going to be a free Prince for us. And we're just going to go for Prince of the Knight. It's one of the most satisfying things. So... He goes in for bats and he also goes on Spearm, so it's most like a minor wall breaker deck and I love this type of matchup, right? We got Zap Arrows, we got all the answers we need, so if you're starting against Lockbait, this is the deck you want to play. So, I'm also going to go Miner since he doesn't really have too much against bats anymore. And now we can just go easily for my Arrows. And we're going to get like so much value out of the Prince, right? I'm just going to go immediately Zap this, he might go now for Spears. Good defense, to be fair, on his end, so he defended it really well, but guys, like this pressure from our deck, which can be... Um, on the board is absolutely incredible and we can just apply continue with that. So I'm just going for my ghost here. Just hope the ghost is coming in in time. It is like going to kill both wallies. No, just one of them. It wasn't really too great. I kind of want to go into my cracker. Okay, I'm just going to go for my prince in the back here. Hmm, I'm just going to go for my prince now in the back. Let's see, how is he going to support? If it goes on for bad, I'm just going to go cracker. Okay, seems like he's not going to do that. So I'm just going to, okay, I'm just going to go cracker now. I'm just gonna go Miner there because he might go in for like Spear Gums on this Miner spot. Okay. I'm just gonna go support this with Bats though. Like, look at this Bats, guys. How is he supposed to? He goes in for Defensive Miner. He goes in also for a Lock. Smart Lock call on his end. I'm just gonna go for a Zap here and I might get a Prince connection. No, I do not get it. And he's like still in this game. This guy is playing defensively absolutely well. I'm just gonna go for my Ghost there. I'm just gonna let this Wall Break on the right side connect. I don't really care, right? I don't wanna overspend. There's no need for me to go like for Ghost plus also the, um, 
like ours would be like a minus four elixir trade. So I'm just gonna go for my evil uh, for my cracker here. Also, after this, I got an evil cracker in case you guys don't have the cracker unlocked. You can also use Arch Queen or Musketeer. Um, or like on a decent amount of level, better to say. But I also think like even if you guys don't have the evil cracker, I would still use cracker there. So I'm just gonna go for this. He's just gonna decide to go and form his wallies. Don't know about that. I can just go now for. I think I'm just gonna go for my Mega Head on the back because he will use his spears behind this most likely. No, he's not gonna use it. So I have my ghost ready. He'll most likely use it soon. Again, like this wall breaker soon. And now with the deadly push, right? Mega Knight Prince. How the heck is he gonna defend this? Is he even playing anymore? Seems like he saw the Mega Knight and he just like, okay, I'm gonna give up. I don't wanna play anymore. And this is what happens, right? Nobody wants to play against MK Prince. One of the most toxic combinations. Okay, maybe also this guy was lagging. But I mean, it doesn't really care. Like, how is he supposed to defend, like, a Prince, Mega Knight, Evil Cracker, Royal Ghost Push? There's no way for the opponent to defend this one. And we're just absolutely smashing this, guys. Yeah, we won this game. GG's. Going to the next game here against Manong GP. I think this guy used to be a CL pro in 2019. That's at least what I think. Like, in CL, Asia playing for Brand Esports as much. And, like, I think this guy's like, was, like, a good mortar player. I don't know if he, like, still plays the game a lot or just casually and so far it looks like this guy might play expo pump so i don't really want to waste my miner early on so i'm just gonna go for my prince and this is kind of what you need to take care of right if your opponent plays a deck like that you don't really want to just like cycle your miner because your cycle is a bit more expensive than minor wall breaks and also you guys are, don't have a big spell right so it's not just like okay you're gonna go for miner and you can still poison the pump no you cannot so you need a bit more careful so minor first play can be solid but also in some situations it won't be that good so i'm just gonna for a here in front to be fair because he doesn't have his knight in cycle and also just won't be able to finish him off. I'm also, also gonna go for my ghost there. Might hit like a fire spit or something. He goes in for fire spit like this. He's gonna get the king activation. I'm also gonna go for bats there. I think he needs to go now for his musketeer. Also gonna go for e-spirit. He's also gonna go for that, which is completely fine for me. And we're doing a good job so far, like getting a ton of damage. I think it was the right decision. Going for the mega and the bridge when he didn't have his knight was the right choice. I'm just gonna go for my prince there. Also getting a charge on top of the musketeer. And he's still forced to defend it. He doesn't have like his... Does he have log? I think he has like log and fire spirit, I think. Okay, he's gonna go for his... Okay, this could be a trouble. So I need to go for my cracker there. I just kind of hope that the... Evil Knight follows the cracker. Let's go, guys. This is what we wanted. The evil cracker. I mean, the normal cracker is gonna kill the entire um, evil knight with all three towers like tanking. I can also go for my zap there. And now I need to be careful because I think I'm... I'm just gonna go ghost there. This is a smart ghost because this ghost is gonna bait out goblins, so I can just go minor. Okay, he's not gonna go like that. Okay, he's just gonna like okay, this is fine. We still got the damage on the pump. I'm just gonna go for my evil quicker now. Get one shot. And I'm just gonna take it. It's of course not as powerful as it used to be anymore, but still on defense, evil quicker is just so absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my ghost there. Okay, I'm just gonna go minor and arrows. Okay, good arrows. Please, one pump shot. Let's go! Almost two. Okay, now we need to be careful because he's just gonna pump up now. And he not pump up now. He's just gonna go expo now. That was, to be fair, a bit closer than I wanted it to be. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my cracker. I'm just gonna go fire spam uh, and like for bats. I'm just gonna go miner there. So the miner will hopefully kill this pump. Or oh, I'm just gonna go pre arrows there. Pre arrows coming down. Great pre arrows killing everything. But this will be tough now because he got now another expo and this time he got with this evil knight. I think the smartest call is to be fair, let it connect. And now I'm just gonna go zap there. I didn't want to go prince because it just felt like it would have been a big waste. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go now for this. Okay, can it maybe do some? Okay, I need to go. I need to go for arrows. That's unfortunate, guys. I'm just gonna go bats now. Gonna go for my prince. Zap. Minor. Okay, minor arrows. Cleaning it up in an okay way, I would say. If he goes in for another. He goes in for another pump. What a game, guys. What a game, man. He has like two pumps on the map. How am, how am I supposed to continue defending this? I don't know. I'm just gonna go for my cracker there. Okay, that's a really good cracker. I'm just gonna go now for this. Now I'm just gonna go for my miner there. Hopefully just like I'm just gonna go zap there. I think it's a worth it zap on two pumps and goblins. 
And also look at the Quaker, right? The Quaker gets like a ton of value, so I'm just gonna go for another Quaker. The Quaker actually winning us the game so far, so I'm just gonna go for my Prince there. And then once again, Quaker's doing a great job. I'm just gonna go for Prince there and also gonna go for my Miner there. Hopefully the Prince tanks, let's go. Miner will be on the tower and getting some decent amount of chip damage. And now I'm just gonna go for my Mega Knight here, just hope, please. Oh yes, let's go. I'm just gonna go for my arrows there. Please go on the expo. One more shot. Let's go. It's still a ton. It's a bit of damage, but so thanks. I'm just gonna go for my Mega Knight here. And now I can just go arrows. I'm just gonna go miner there. I've got a chain, and now I'm just gonna go for my zap there. And that was actually really close, but in the end. Mod Wells, the winner of this game, man. This guy played really well at the end. The main mistake I see like amateur players do is most likely the play that they're just like overcommitting a lot. They don't know when to accept damage. And this is exactly what we did in the last game, right? We had accepted, we accepted um, some damage sometimes and rather go on light for the Mega to have like a more healthier tank compared to the Prince and not like also not an easy but distractible um, tank like because he had goblins and just like let some damage go, then go for the Mega, then go for the Zap. Because if I would have gone for like a Prince, of course the Prince would have tanked some time for the Expo, but he would have just overwhelmed me at this point. So rather taking damage and not gonna be behind too much on Elixir, especially considering he had like an Elixir pump dang and we didn't have anything against it. So sometimes you kinda need to analyze it well how much Elixir Pawn has, how much he's up on Elixir, and just take some damage and exchange to not be that far behind on Elixir. So I'm just gonna go for my Quack. Hey, this could be a tough matchup. Because he got like a ton of splash. Hmm. But he also got loon, so this will be hard, guys. I'm just gonna go for my bats there, though. I think his bats are doing an incredible job since he doesn't have tomato in hand. And just look at this defense, guys. Once again, doing a perfect job. I'm just gonna go for mine. I should have well, not minor there. I should have waited for the zap. But I still think it's okay. Because look at the minor chip damage. Might he? Yeah, he might go for that. I can just go for the ghost here. And yeah, he got some damage off the balloon. To be fair. It's not looking as good as I wanted it, so I just should have waited for the zap. That was pretty bad. I shouldn't have minor there. But I mean, he still needs to do something here. Is he gonna go for a tornado once again? Seems like he's low on Alexa. What the heck is he doing? I thought about going for a zap to get like one extra shot, but I just think it's not really too worth it. And this guy has like really good finishes. He has like two top 50 for like top uh, 80 finishes. So this guy has to be a good player, right? So I'm just gonna go for a Prince. He has baby drink, no electric drink, which is important to keep in mind. So. Prince will get a ton of value in this match. I'm just gonna. I wanna go Cracker High. I don't really wanna waste my Cracker. Cracker is as one of the most important cards in this type of matchup. No, I misplaced my Mega Knight. I'm so bad. I'm just gonna go Miner here. Okay, that was pretty bad. I'm just gonna go for my Prince. Okay, the question is if we're able. No, we're not able to stop the balloon. Hmm. The bigger question is, are we still able to take his tower? I'm just gonna go for my ghost there. And I'm just gonna go for my Mega Knight. I'm going for this, I'm just gonna go bats. Zap. Quicker like this. Okay, please go to on top. Please go on top, please! Do it! Okay, he does it, but am I able to defend now his loon it's a big effort. I'm just gonna go bats there he needs to play a tornado at least I'm just gonna go tornado okay I'm just gonna pressure because I know I can't I can't defend guys I can't I can't defend okay, I need to go arrows here I'm also gonna go late zap man we're still alive this might be an historic game for Mortal Royale what a game. So I'm just gonna go. I need to go Prince. That's not good. Am I back to Evil Quag? I'm back to Evil Quag at least. He's just gonna stack up his stuff now. That's. Firecracker. I'm just gonna go Arrows there. I think his Arrows are doing a great job, like making sure to kill almost everything. And now I'm just gonna go for my Mega Knight there. Really good Mega Knight. Okay, almost got a shot. Prince now coming down. Good um, ghost. 
getting also some volume with that. Please, no shot, no! Bro, that was such a close game, guys. Okay, of course, against Loon, it can be tough, but you still saw kind of something, like how I'm able to win this tough game. I messed up once in this kind of thing, right? I talked about, like, knowing how to use Elixir, and I messed up there. I messed up there in one um, scenario with the Magnite misclick, to be fair, so I would have, uh, I think, defended this. But overall, I think it's still a good game. Of course, you kind of want to pressure a lot because at the 1-1 situation, when he stacks his troop behind without having a big spell, it's a big disadvantage. But overall, I just love this Magnite deck. It's so good on ladder, and especially in competitive playing when shin. So make sure to use the stack. Let me know in the comment section which decks you guys want to see next. I'm out. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Goodbye.